okay so now we are going to move to a new topic which is extraction of metals now we have learned about metals their reactions with various uh, elements and compounds their reactions with non metals their reactions with air water and all but for a reaction to happen the metal actually you have to get a pure metal so where would you get that pure metal from if you just find um, maybe suppose sodium you will not get sodium anywhere in the uh, like you will not find it anywhere so you will always find it in nacl na2so4 these type of salts so if you want pure sodium then what should you do you have to extract this sodium out of the compounds of which i mean nacl is naturally occurring in the sea water so from the sea water you can extract sodium basically we'll start with occurrence occurrence of the metal now unlike sodium you will mostly find gold and silver in their pure form i mean pure form does not mean that you will get pure gold uh, i mean you'll just get gold and nothing else there'll be impurities on it there'll be uh, i mean mud or other other kind of salts attached to it but the element will not be in combined form that means you'll get gold gold with impurities but you'll not get aucl or, or aucl4 or something like that so you'll not get gold chloride gold sulfate and all these things you'll get pure gold with impurities with i mean just superficial impurities so gold and silver generally occur in pure form and uh, sometimes even copper occurs in pure form but copper generally occurs in pure as well as combined form if you're lucky then you'll get a pure form otherwise you'll get combined form but metals such as sodium potassium calcium magnesium zinc all these etc aluminum all these very reactive metals which are towards the top of the reactivity series they will always occur in combined form because they are very reactive so sodium will not want to stay as sodium it will want to react with something uh, present in the atmosphere like chlorine or oxygen or something like that and then it will form a compound but these these things gold silver these are very unreactive they are towards the bottom of the reactivity series so they will not want to react with any uh, anything they they generally don't react with chlorine or uh, oxygen present in the air and water and stuff so gold silver they occur only in pure form copper occurs in pure as well as combined forms and sodium potassium calcium magnesium all these elements other elements they always occur in combined forms so if you get a question that name a metal which occurs only in pure form so you can write gold and or silver or you get a question like um aluminum 
does it occur in pure combined or both so the answer is combined because aluminium is very reactive towards the top of the reactivity series so it cannot occur in pure as well as both forms i mean both it means it has to occur as pure also so it does not occur as pure or both it occurs only as combined it's generally al2o3 which is called bauxite this has this has x h2o molecules attached with it but that is not very much our concern so basically the element or uh the compound from which the element or the compound or substance substances or compounds they can be more than one from which the element can be extracted that is it is present in that compound it is just a i mean you it's like na2so4 sodium is present in the compound it can be extracted so that's why this compound or substance is called a mineral so the definition of mineral is very important that the element or compound which from which the element can be extracted and one more thing which is naturally occurring in the earth's crust i mean na2so4 uh, or something like uh, maybe suppose na2o you will not find it occurring naturally in the earth's crust although it has sodium but it's not called a mineral because it's not naturally found but nacl even na2so4 is not generally naturally found but nacl is always found in sea water so nacl is a mineral of sodium so, so there are two points for a compound to be a mineral it should contain the required element and it should be naturally occurring so these just remember these two points and you get the definition of a mineral you don't have to write all this this is just for your explanation just remember two points that it should contain the element and it should be naturally occurring so we can make up your own definition like it uh, um, uh, a substance which contains the required element for extraction and which is naturally occurring in the earth's crust is called a mineral